Now, Jakarta is one of the world's busiest and most crowded cities. Getting around isn't always easy. Once upon a time, you might have used a small motor-powered rickshaw, but two years ago, they were banned by the Indonesian government. Now, one former driver has come up with a new way to use his old vehicle. The BBC's Tim Ullman explains. Sutino Hadi, known as Kinong, is a man on a mission. He used to drive passengers around Jakarta. Now he's trying to broaden minds. He's turned his old Bemo into a mobile library. And it's the minds of the young he really wants to broaden. When I first started, I never imagined I could inspire that many children. But after a few years of driving around, I began to see the positive benefits. I thought, I'm nearing retirement anyway. It's my responsibility to be a good human being and help others. Bemos used to be a regular sight in Jakarta. For decades, they buzzed round the streets, weaving through traffic. But they weren't always safe, and they weren't exactly good for the environment, so eventually they were banned. Kinong's novel use of his vehicle is just one example of a larger movement, aiming to make Indonesians learn to love books. Our challenge is how to instill an interest in reading in children during the age of technology. We believe it is important that our volunteers teach children to understand the importance of learning. From what we have seen, Indonesia's education system is moving in a positive direction, and we are grateful for that. Kinong hopes he can help transform these children's lives, and he says this journey has taken him to places he never thought possible. Tim Allman, BBC News.